Hello again. We're back after uh, leveling up our characters. Uh, everyone is now level 2, except for the elf, who is now level 3. Um, we're going to be going to the Hidden Forest Cave to work on, again, working on experience. The Hidden Forest Cave uh, he, he, my characters are level 2, so I think I should be able to handle minotaurs. It, the, cave, the cave is full of minotaurs, probably about a dozen of them. And they each give about around 500, maybe 500 to 600 experience each. So, <clears throat> clearing, that, clearing the cave out it is like a total of around maybe 5,000 to 6,000 experience each time I clear it. And there's also some a uh, couple of juicy magical items to be found in there, and uh, yeah, and they even drop they drop axes, potentially magical axes, but which I could sell. So we'll see. Of course we have to get there first. We might we might get attacked by hill giants or something that kills everyone. But I'll be saving a lot, so even if that does happen, we'll be fine. And this will be a treat for those of you who don't know where the hidden forest cave is. I myself had had not known where the forest cave was for a long time. I didn't even know it existed until I started looking at other looking at walkthroughs. Uh, I believe it is here. Let me check the map. Yeah, I think we might be still a little, I think it's a little bit further south, but the forest cave is in a little, a little, uh, bush corner, just like this one. Oh, this is it. And here, there's the minotaur. Okay, that was pretty, that was pretty easy. <laughs> I guess we won't have trouble with this. So... Yeah, it's just, this is actually a pretty small dungeon. There's just all these rooms, and each room has either one or two minotaurs in it. One of them, one or two of them has some uh, um, preset treasure in it. Kind of like some magical items. Anyway, let's, let's see what we got here. Let's clear it out. Ooh, ouch. Uh-oh, this, uh... Maybe I should just stick to the guy to the one at the entrance of the cave. Okay, so that was a little bit tougher than I uh, thought. Uh, I'll probably have to go outside and rest. Another another fight like that would kill my kill my warrior. I won't give up on it. I mean. Yeah, as long as we survive, I can at least I can rest and heal up. I could use the lightning bolt wand here, but I want the experience to get spread around to everyone. So the the, uh, the one at the entrance was relatively easy. So I already know what's in this room. I want to find the get the one that's got the treasure in it. That was a minotaur chief. Oh, there's something. It's a ooh, plus one sword and a plus two chain mail. I'm gonna check for secret doors too. All right, let's uh, 
Let's see about getting our items swapped out here. Give this to the cleric. And I'll just send this over to the wizard to hold on to. Sell it later. Plus one sword. I don't really I guess I don't need the plus one sword because I've already got plus one axes and spears. Just to get my stuff organized there. And where wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I moved the I moved the chain mail. All right, here we go. Since I didn't take any damage, I'll I'll go on to the next room. Oh no 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 no! Can't have that. I'm I'm I always try to get my maximum hit points. So, I can't accept that result. It's got to be 33. No. Okay, so I'm going to leave the dungeon to reseed the, uh, the rolls. I'll end up doing this probably several times <laughs> as my characters are full. They'll probably level up quickly killing these minotaurs. At least for the next maybe level or two, though it'll be quick. I saw an item on the floor. Something over here, and it's plus one sword or no, it's a regular sword and a plus one chainmail. Okay, so we shall let's see who got that. Give that to the cleric. And um, here, rearrange my items. So everything is even and uniform. <clears throat> and again, I took no damage, gained no levels. So let's see what we got here. Ouch. No. Unacceptable. I'll just go back out to reseed. So anyway, I can rinse and repeat this technique for this uh, this dungeon here. Just keep yeah. going through this. No, nope, that wasn't it. So yeah, I might have to do this quite a bit, reloading it. To get the uh, the best results for my hit hit rolls, hit point rolls. All right. After <laughs> what's was seemingly a lot of tries, getting trying to get max hit points, um, <laughs> took longer than usual for some of them. Um, everyone is now. I've got everyone up at level five. And I returned to town to sell. I had found a couple of, of magical weapons off of the Minotaurs, which I sold for a, a nice little profit. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to get any new items to buy at the store. Everything was still the same as it was at, when I was at level 4. So um, I guess at level 6 is probably when I get new items available in the store. So. But uh, now I'm, I'm all cleaned up and ready to travel out of town again. Um, this time I will be going to clear out the Beastman Caves to uh, advance the story. But I will do that next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>